How many times do I have to tell you this? I heard a loud bang, and when I came running into the room, there was my husband lying dead on the floor. <laughs> and, and you, Mr. Uh, Billy Bancroft? Well, I was out back trimming the hedge when I heard Mrs. Dupree scream. I came inside to see what was the matter, and I saw Mrs. Evelyn standing over the body. Well, now that sounds very accusatory, doesn't it, Bobby? And you? What are you doing here? Well, Gerald was my brother, as you know. I had just arrived to take Evelyn to afternoon tea, our weekly get-together. I was on the front lawn when I heard the bang. I ran into the house, and I also saw Evelyn standing over Gerald's body. <sighs> so, let me get this straight. All three of you ran into this room within mere seconds of hearing a gunshot, but none of you saw who did it? Did you just take my picture? Did he just take my picture? Erase it! Erase it or I'll slap an injunction on you so fast it'll do your head spinning! <laughs> Mrs. Dupree, please. He's supposed to be taking pictures of the crime scene. He's just doing his job. Detective James, I am not a crime scene, as much as my face might look like one right now. Thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> Don't touch me, Bruno. <sighs> all right, so uh, not to contradict the testimony of all three of you, but Gerald Dupree was not shot. He was stabbed. Well, to be fair, I never said he was shot. Oh, you did, I said I heard a loud bang. I'm smarter than On initial right. inspection, this looks like a simple burglary gone wrong. Mr. Dupree appears to have been stabbed with the family diamond, which is also missing. The Century Star! The Dupree family jewels! Oh gosh, they've been passed down generation to generation! This is terrible! Oh God! Yes, thank you for that exposition. Uh, Mr. Dupree must have uh, interrupted the thief in the act. A detective, did you notice any signs of forced entry? for a walk. Uh, all this stress just, uh, it isn't good for him. Would you like me to come with you, dear? No. Oh, no, thank you. I just handle all of this. I, I can't. I just, I just can't. God. But Mrs. Dupree. I must apply a fresh coat of powder. I wouldn't be caught dead in public like this. Don't do that to me. You, you gave me such a fright. 
can't. You can't be here. Oh, I know, but I just had to see oh, you. Oh, Evelyn. Oh, Charles. Oh, 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 Charles. Oh, 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 oh Charles. Oh, you just, you always had a way of pulling me back. Oh, but this time, I mustn't. But why? Oh, because I believe this belongs to you. Where'd you find that? In my living room. You must have left it there. Though I know for certain that you took it the other night. See, it's chipped. I'm very observant. But I didn't. You must have left it when you came by earlier today. When you murdered my husband. No, I would never. Oh, Charles, you and I had an arrangement. You knew I would never leave my Gerald for you. But you were too jealous. So you came over and you murdered him. Evelyn, I was at your house. I knew it. But I didn't kill anyone. I didn't. <sighs> I was here to talk to Gerald about a business opportunity. You know he and I work together. But I noticed something. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, another body has been found. Looks like the killer has struck again. Oh no! Who was it, Detective? Charles Waverly. It was Evelyn! She did it! Why would you accuse your sister? Because she was having an affair with Charles. Gerald must have found out. So she killed them both! Oh, please, Constance. Calm down. Gerald and I had an open marriage. He was having an affair with Charles, too. Anything actually went with us. <laughs> if you don't mind, may I, Detective? I actually called this meeting after informing Detective James of Charles's murder. For you see, I've discovered the culprit behind these heinous crimes. Let's take a look at the evidence. Upon careful inspection of the diamonds holding case, I found pencil lead residue, the exact same as the pencil Detective James was using during our interviews yesterday. Wait, you think the detective did- Please don't interrupt me. Then there's also the case of the gun. When I initially suspected Charles of the crime, due to his great love for me, I confronted him about it. Tragically, we were interrupted by a 32 Colt revolver. Standard police and detective issue. And then there's the matter of this letter. I found it in a stack on Gerald's desk. It reads, Gerald, I will not stand for your denials. My claims have been proven. Though you may not like it, I am your half-brother. The diamond is mine, and I will get it one way or another. Signed, Detective James. <gasps> Wait, why are you surprised if you did it? Well, because, Byron, Detective James is not the culprit. Now, pencil shavings are light proof, and a similar gun type might be overlooked. But it was the note that really caught my attention. For I recognize this handwriting of that of my sister-in-law, Constance Dupree! <gasps> you wanted the diamond for yourself and attempted to steal it just before our tea. When Gerald and Charles interrupted, you flew into a rage, stabbing him, and Charles fled the scene. Then you ran out to the front lawn to pretend you just arrived. Once you realized your mistakes, you attempted to frame poor Detective James. Luckily, you are too stupid to recognize that I would know your handwriting. But it's not my handwriting. I had my servant girl write it for that very reason. <sighs> oh, but I know. Okay, so her sudden confession aside, do you have any real proof? I'm hoping so. I went through Mrs. Constance's things as you asked, Mrs. Dupree, and I found this. Curse you, Evelyn Dupree! 
You ruined everything! The moment Gerald met you, I knew you'd be trouble. That diamond should be mine! You won't get away with this! Well, 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 look at that. The same gun I saw last night. A 32 Colt revolver. No one will be taking me in today. And I promise you, you haven't heard the last of me, Evelyn Dupree! Don't you have a gun, too? Oh, right. <sighs> wow, Mrs. Dupree. That was amazing. You make a better detective than the detective. Thank you, Benji. You're too, too kind. You know, you aren't so bad yourself. I think we make a good team. Mrs. Dupree, my name's not Benji. Mm, sorry, Brody. <laughs> what will you do now with Gerald gone? Mm, you know, I think I have an idea. <laughs>